good morning, good afternoon, good evening from wherever you are in the world. This is George from yourlocalmusician.com and firstly I'd like to apologise for sounding all bunged up and disgusting. That's because I feel bunged up and disgusting. I've had a cold for around the past six days. I've sneezed on people, I've, I've coughed on people and no one really likes me at the minute. So yeah, sad face. <laughs> but not to steer away too much from the subject of the of the video. We're going to do a short tutorial on a couple of ways to perform time stretching in Logic Pro X. Right, so let's get stuck in to the first technique. Firstly, what you want to do is pull up something like a, a drum loop or a, a vocal loop, and you want to make sure that that's highlighted and uh, your your uh, locators don't have to be set but that that they are uh, for me at the minute so right so if we highlight it and we take our cursor and uh, we put it right right here at the at the bottom right hand corner of of, of the piece of audio and firstly what we want to do is we want to hit alt on our keyboard and then left click and just drag to that bar so as you can see before that it was a little under three bars long I wanted it to be dead on three bars long so let's have a listen to it now that it's been time stretched and then we'll go back revert it and, and, and listen to how it sounded before Right, okay, so for, uh, I could have been a bit better on choosing my drum loops, but for the uh, purpose of the video, that is the, you know, that, that's what we were going for. Um, right, so if we revert that, and we just listen to how it sounded before. So as you can see, the the uh, the purpose of of using this kind of technique is it, it's for it's mainly for time stretching uh, things like really quickly when you don't really want to think too much uh, about it. You just want to get it done. So whether there's a, you know a, a drum loop such as this that's just the slightest bit out of time, you just want to you know just bring it that that li that little bit forward and knock it right into place. Right, let's get stuck into the the second one right so the second technique that we're going to get uh, stuck into is a uh, time stretch into the length of the locators this one's really easy um, as you can see I've got a new sample here by uh, a band or a woman called Joe Donato I don't really know the song uh, you might but before we do the stretch let's have a listen to it <laughs> So this one's really, really simple. What we're gonna do is, once again, make sure the sample is highlighted. And what we're gonna do is come up to edit and go down to time stretch and then hit time stretch region length to locators. And boom, we're done. So let's have uh, another listen. Cool, so yeah, that's it. Let's get stuck into the the last technique. So this one is a little bit more advanced than the other two that we've just gone over. This is time stretching using the time and pitch machine. So the first step is to ensure that your advanced tools are all turned on. And the way you do that is by going up to Logic Pro X, go down to Preferences, over to Audio. Um, and go to advanced and as you can see here all these checkboxes are checked for me they won't be for you so make sure you do this otherwise you won't have the um, functions that you need to be able to make the stretch work 
Um, if they're not turned on, I would turn them on regardless because if they're not, then you are pretty much just using a glorified version of a garage band. So getting into the stretch, um, you need a desired BPM that you want your uh, project to be at. So here we are aiming for 140. So say for instance your piece of audio is at 75 BPM. Uh, to really make it work you want to knock that into half time so it matches the entire project so half of 140 is is 70 so if we uh, once again ensure that the the audio is is highlighted click the audio go into file oh yep go into file over to functions down to time and pitch machine if right here in the original we type in 75 go over to destination we want it to be at 70 then we click process and paste and boom now it will be matched up with 140 bpm and it's at 70 so if we take a quick listen <laughs> Not the greatest sample to do it for, but for the purposes of the video, it, it, it works. And so go ahead and try it out for yourself. Thank you.